Today, we're gonna to take a look at how you can use iMovie to create a couple of variations of the jump cut. The jump cut, if you haven't heard of that term before, is a very simple editing technique that can help you go from one point in time to another on your timeline very quickly. So from both the video editor's point of view and the viewer's perspective, it helps speed up the flow of your video. When you apply a jump cut to a face to camera scene, it can look quite jarring. And for this reason, you won't see this technique used on films or commercial projects very often, unless it's being done for an intentional effect. Now, if you grew up watching YouTube videos on the other hand, jump cuts are a staple of the video editing technique. On the platform, it's quite common to see this type of edit on most face-to-camera scenes. But as a traditional video editor, I tend to avoid this technique and use a few variations that can make the cut look more natural and seamless. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your jump cuts with a few simple techniques. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our first jump cut. To do that in iMovie, simply use the playhead marker and scroll along the timeline until you find the point in the video clip that you'd like to cut out. And you can create a cut in a number of ways. The first way is to right click on the thumbnail video in the timeline and select the split clip option, or you can use the command B keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Now we're going to move to the second point in the timeline, the out point of the clip that we want to cut out. And again, we're going to split that clip and we want to get rid of this video clip that we just created in between these two sections of video. So we're going to highlight that clip and select the delete key. And what you're going to get after you do that is the jump cut in its most basic form. Now we're going to try a couple of things that will help us get a more smooth transition between those two clips. So in order to do that, we are going to change the crop of the second clip by going into the crop tool, which you can see in the top section of the video preview window, select crop and select crop to fill, grab the crop bar handles and move in. And then you can drag your crop bar around the video footage to the point that you're happy with the composition. I wanna have this centered as much as possible. So I'm going to drag it into the top right hand corner and then I'm going to hit the return key in order to crop that second clip. And as you can see, we now have a jump cut which goes from a wide shot to a close up shot all with the same piece of footage that we had in iMovie. This is going to work best when you're working with 4K video footage and exporting your final project out to a 1080p video file because the 4K video footage will maintain the quality of the resolution, sharpness and definition when you downgrade the output to a HD video clip, which is more than often enough resolution for most social media platforms. If you do need to go out to a 4K video clip, it's still gonna look fine. You just might find the cropped in video clip looks a little bit softer than the original footage. The next option we're going to take a look at is to create a zoom in effect with a little bit of motion going from one cut to the other. And again, this can just make a more interesting effect when you're going from one clip to another. We're going to select the second clip. We're gonna move the playhead along by a couple of seconds. We're going to split that. We're going to click on that clip and this time we're going to select the crop tool and instead of crop to fill, we're gonna go for the Ken Burns effect. The Ken Burns allows us to zoom in our footage, whether you're using a photo or video footage. So you have a start point and an end point that you can adjust to give you a different effect on the zoom and different direction, depending on which way you wanna go. So for this example, we're gonna zoom from the bottom corner to the top right hand corner. And once we've done that, we're gonna go back to the timeline and take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so that's the general effect. You'll notice that it was pretty slow. If you wanna speed it up, bring the playhead closer to the beginning of that clip, split it there, and then go and remove the zoom effect on the second clip that was created as we only want the zoom effect to appear once. Click on the play button or tap the space bar to preview.
And that's how you can get a zoom in effect on your jump cut. Now, the final thing we wanna take a look at is the available transitions in iMovie, which can really help improve the transition between your cuts. These are amazing effects that you can apply very easily by going to the point in the timeline where you've created your split, grabbing a transition, let's start with the cross blur, and just dragging it in between that split and you can then preview it by playing it on the timeline. There's some amazing effects that you can experiment with, each of them unique to iMovie and can really help give you a much smoother, more seamless look in your video edit. Uh, very impressive indeed. And if you're getting sick of those basic jump cuts, you can certainly check out one of these amazing transitions that are built into iMovie. And you can apply different transitions for each of your cuts or the same one along the whole project. The other thing you can do with a transition is double click on the effect and change the duration. The default is usually set to one second. So you can change that to three or five seconds and you can select apply or apply to all, determining whether it's applied to the one transition or to all of the transitions on the timeline. And that's how you can take your cuts to the next level using iMovie. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you wanna see my full video on how to edit using iMovie, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. If you wanna learn how to use iMovie for iOS, I've also created a tutorial on that topic and we'll leave a link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, hit me up with a like, and if you wanna see more from me, consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Bye for now.